Today's topic is incredibly important for every dog owner out there. How do dogs get parvo? Parvovirus is a highly contagious and potentially deadly disease that can affect your furry companions. In this video, we'll delve into the nitty gritty of how dogs contact parvo, its symptoms, prevention, and treatment. So, if you're a dog owner or planning to get a dog, this information is crucial. So let's take a look at how do dogs get parvo, things every dog owner should know. Number 7. What is Parvovirus? Parvovirus, commonly known as Parvo, is a highly contagious viral disease that primarily affects dogs. It belongs to the family of Parvoviridae and can cause severe gastrointestinal distress. The virus attacks rapidly dividing cells, particularly those in the intestine, bone marrow, and lymph nodes. Scientifically known as canine parvovirus, CPV, is a highly contagious and potentially deadly virus that primarily affects dogs. It belongs to the parvoviridae family, a group of small, non-enveloped viruses known for their ability to cause disease in various animal species. In the case of dogs, canine parvovirus is a significant concern for dog owners and veterinarians alike due to its severe and often rapid onset of symptoms. Canine parvovirus is a single-strand DNA virus, which means it carries its genetic information in the form of a single DNA strand. It has a simple structure consisting of a protein shell, a capsid, that encapsulates its genetic material. The virus is incredibly stable in the environment and can survive for extended periods, even in harsh conditions. This resilience contributes to its capacity to spread and cause outbreaks. Canine parvovirus is primarily transmitted through the fecal-oral route, meaning that dogs become infected by ingesting the virus through contact with infected feces or contaminated environments. The virus particles shed in the feces of infected dogs are highly resilient and can persist in the environment for months. This durability allows the virus to survive in dog parks, kennels, pet stores, and other places where dogs congregate. Diagnosing canine parvovirus involves a combination of clinical symptoms, physical examination, and laboratory tests, such as fecal tests and blood tests. If diagnosed, immediate treatment is crucial. Severely affected dogs are often hospitalized to receive intravenous fluids, electrolyte treatment, and medications to control vomiting and diarrhea. Supportive care is provided to manage symptoms, support the immune system, and address complications. Number 6. How Dogs Contract Parvo Parvovirus is transmitted through the feces of infected dog. Here are the main ways dogs can contract parvo. The primary mode of transmission for canine parvovirus is the fecal-oral route. This means the virus is shed in an infected dog's feces and can be transmitted to other dogs through oral contact with contaminated material. Direct Contact Direct contact with an infected dog, especially in places like dog parks, pet stores, or kennels, can lead to the transmission of the virus. Dogs can contact parvo by coming into contact with contaminated surfaces, such as bowls, toys, or bedding. Indirect contact. Even if your dog doesn't come into direct contact with an infected dog, they can still get parvo. The virus is resilient and can survive in the environment for months. If an unvaccinated dog sniffs, licks, or steps on an area where an infected dog has been, they can pick up the virus. Ingesting contaminated substances. Parvovirus particles are shed in the feces of infected dogs. Dogs can accidentally ingest the virus by sniffing or licking contaminated surfaces or by consuming infected feces. Infected dogs shed the virus in their feces. Once contaminated feces are left behind in the environment, the virus can persist for extended periods. High traffic areas where dogs congregate, such as parks, sidewalks, and communal dog spaces, can become contaminated with the virus. Puppies between the ages of 6 weeks and 6 months are at a higher risk of contracting parvo due to their developing immune systems. Unvaccinated adult dogs are also susceptible, especially if they haven't received booster shots. Number 5. Common Symptoms Recognizing the symptoms of parvo is crucial for early intervention. 
Here are some of the common signs to watch out for. Gastrointestinal symptoms. One of the hallmark signs of parvo is intense and frequent vomiting. The vomiting is often relentless and can lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. The vomit may contain bile, mucus, or even blood. Parvo can cause severe damage to the lining of the intestines, leading to inflammation and bleeding. As a result, affected dogs experience profuse, watery, and often bloody diarrhea. The color of the blood in the stool might vary from bright red to a darker, tarry appearance. Parvovirus disrupts the normal functioning of the gastrointestinal tract, leading to extreme discomfort and a loss of appetite. Dogs infected with parvo will often show disinterest in food and may even refuse to eat altogether. General Symptoms Lethargy and Weakness Infected dogs tend to become lethargic and weak. They may show reluctance to move, play, or engage in their usual activities. This lack of energy is a result of the virus affecting their overall health and vitality. Fever Parvovirus infection often triggers a fever as the body's immune response kicks in. Elevated body temperature is a sign that the immune system is trying to fight off the infection. Dehydration The combination of vomiting and diarrhea can lead to rapid dehydration. Dehydration can become severe due to the loss of fluids and electrolytes and it can exacerbate the dog's overall condition. 4. Prevention Preventing parvo is far better than treating it. Here's what you can do to protect your furry friend. Vaccination Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent parvo. Puppies should receive a series of vaccinations starting at 6 to 8 weeks of age, with boosters every 3 to 4 weeks until they are 16 to 20 weeks old. Adult dogs should receive regular booster shots. Avoid high-risk areas. Limit your dog's exposure to areas with a high concentration of dogs, such as dog parks, until they are fully vaccinated. These areas have a higher risk of contamination. Hygiene Practices Regularly clean your dog's living area and disinfect surfaces to minimize the risk of virus transmission. 3. Treatment and Recovery if your dog is diagnosed with parvo, early and aggressive treatment is essential. Treatment often includes hospitalization. Severely affected dogs may require hospitalization to receive fluids, electrolytes, and medications to control vomiting and diarrhea. Severely affected dogs often require hospitalization for intensive care. This is especially true for puppies and dogs with more advanced symptoms. Hospitalization allows veterinarians to closely monitor the dog's condition, administer intravenous fluids to combat dehydration, and provide immediate medical interventions if complications arise. Isolation is essential to prevent the spread of the virus to other dogs. Infected dogs should be kept in isolation wards or designated areas to reduce the risk of transmission. Supportive care. Veterinarians provide supportive care to manage symptoms, prevent dehydration, and aid the immune system. Isolation Infected dogs should be isolated to prevent the virus from spreading to other dogs. Intravenous fluids and electrolyte replacement The severe vomiting and diarrhea associated with parvovirus can quickly lead to dehydration and electrolyte imbalances. Intravenous fluids are administered to restore hydration and maintain the dog's electrolyte levels within a normal range. This step is crucial for stabilizing the dog's condition and supporting their overall recovery. Number 2. Post-Recovery Care Even if your dog survives parvo, they can remain contagious for a while. Follow your veterinarian's guidelines for post-recovery care. Isolate Keep your recovering dog away from other dogs until your vet gives the all clear. Gradual Diet Transition Reintroduce food gradually, as advised by your vet, to give your dog's digestive system time to recover. Boost Immunity Support your dog's immune system through a balanced diet, proper exercise, and regular veterinary checkups. While your dog might start feeling better, avoid excess physical activity or exercise that could strain their still recovering body. Ensure your dog is up to date on their vaccinations, including the canine parvovirus vaccine. Continue regular vaccinations and boosters as recommended by your vet to prevent future infections. 
Number 1. Conclusion Understanding how dogs contract parvo is crucial for every dog owner. By taking preventative measures, being vigilant about symptoms, and seeking prompt veterinary care, you can give your furry friend the best chance of staying healthy. Remember, responsible ownership means ensuring your dog's well-being from the very beginning. So this was all about today's video. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.